Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Imagine if this was to be your last Ramadan. How would you feel about it? How would you feel about the performance that you've made since the start of this year's Ramadan? Is it something that you're proud of? Or do you have so much regret even though Ramadan has not yet left us? You see, it's a very important question for all of us to sometimes sit down, reflect and ask ourselves. If we're not so pleased with the performance that we've had so far, imagine if we would not have another one in the future. Because I believe that the reason why some of us, we slack a little bit, we think that we can always do better next time, it's because we think there is going to be a next time. But that is merely an assumption. Nobody can guarantee us that we would live till next year. And so, one thing that we should all try to work on is to try to work on what we can with what we have now. And so, what I would like to challenge all of you watching this video is to look at the several areas in your life right now. It is not just about trying to build on your ibadah, on your acts of worship, but I also like all of you to think about what are the other things that I could be doing right now that would please Allah. Because it is not just the increase in your prayers, the increase in your um, supplications and dua that would please Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is your creator would also be pleased if you are able to display mercy to his creations. Display mercy to your loved ones, to your neighbors, to your family members. And there are many ways for us to show mercy. The most simplest way and the most straightforward, most common way that most people would understand it is to actually be more generous, be more charitable, right? Be generous with your donations to others. These are some of the things that we can do immediately as how the Prophet ﷺ displayed it in his lifetime and he was known to be even more generous in the month of Ramadan compared to other months. But there are other ways as I mentioned earlier as to how we could potentially show mercy to others. And one of the ways is to actually be more kind and be more forgiving to those around us. You see, as human beings, we are prone to making mistakes. And this is the same with our spouse, our children, our parents, our friends, our colleagues. Anyone that we come into contact to, I'm pretty sure there will be instances and times when they may say something to offend you. They may do something that may hurt your feelings. And whether or not their actions and their words were intentionally uh, meant to hurt you or otherwise, I think that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is how do we deal with those words and those actions. One thing that we could try to apply, because Ramadan is indeed the month of mercy, where Allah showers down His mercy to all His servants. One of the things that we could do is to show more grace to those around us. Meaning, let us allow people to make mistakes. Because at the end of the day, they are humans, right? And we all would falter sometimes, we all may say something that we regret, that we don't really mean. These things are bound to happen in any kind of relationship that you find yourself in. This is bound to happen. So with this fact, let us work on trying to be more forgiving. Let us learn to pardon. I mean, do we not all always say repeatedly in the month of Ramadan, Allahumma innaka afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are the one who pardons, you love to pardon, so please pardon me. As we are asking Allah to pardon us for our mistakes, wouldn't it be ironic for us to not pardon others for the wrongs they've done towards us? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely, He is more than ready 
to forgive us. He is more than ready to give us and show us His mercy. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see us express mercy first, display mercy first, show it and give it away. And that is when it will come back to us in abundance, in ways that we least expect. So this Ramadan, just imagine, if we do not work on trying to mend our broken relationships, some people they come to me and they say, Ustaz, I have, a, I have a bad relationship with my father. I have an estranged relationship with my mom. I've not spoken to them for quite some time. The last time I hugged them was 10 years ago. Things like this. I mean, when else are we expecting to fix things? Right? Ramadan is the best month, my dear friends. So let us try our best to make sure that this Ramadan, you know, is the best Ramadan even if we have only a few days left. It doesn't, it's never an issue of, it is never an issue of quantity as much as it is a focus on quality and intention. As long as we're sincere in trying to work our way to improve our level of ibadah and acts of worship, as long as we are genuine when it comes to trying to fix and mend our broken relationships, these are the things that will eventually determine the outcome of our actions in this world and in the hereafter. Okay? So let's work on that and I hope you have benefited from this video. And if you found it beneficial, do share it. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.